This video is about the causes and effects of the smogs and which pollutants are associated with them. You will also see their health effects and how to minimize them. The word smog is the combination of the words smoke and fog. In a smog, air pollution accumulates in cities with the formation of a haze of smoke in the atmosphere, near the surface, and it can make air quality and visibility worse. There are two types of smog. The first type is the photochemical smog. Photochemical smog is related to the presence of nitrogen oxides in the atmosphere. In this type of smog, under the influence of UV radiation, nitrogen oxides react with volatile hydrocarbon compounds of natural and human origin, producing a mixture of pollutants. It is a reaction activated by light, or photochemical reaction. A series of reactions contribute to the formation of photochemical smog. Initially, there is the release of pollution into the atmosphere through cars, boilers and industries. Nitrogen oxides are formed in vehicle combustion chambers at high temperature and in thermoelectric, fertilizer or nitric acid plants. The nitric oxide is transformed into nitrogen dioxide in the atmosphere. This gas is yellow-brown in color, has a suffocating odor and causes a brown haze that can occur in cities on sunny days. In the presence of UV radiation, part of the nitrogen oxides reacts in the atmosphere with hydrocarbons, which can originate from vegetation, vehicles, and other human activities. These reactions will generate pollutants, such as ozone, nitric acid, aldehydes, and other pollutants harmful to air quality. In a photochemical smog there will be a predominance of ozone that is formed from these chemical reactions. Photochemical smog is favored in cities with lots of vehicles and sunny, hot and dry climates. Cities like Los Angeles, in the United States, Sydney, in Australia, Mexico City, in Mexico, Sao Paulo, in Brazil, Buenos Aires, in Argentina, can have this kind of smog. The second type of smog is the industrial. It occurs due to the presence of a mixture of sulfur dioxide, droplets of sulfuric acid and suspended solid particles in the atmosphere, emitted by burning oil and coal. Industrial smog is also known as gray air smog, as the solid particles present gave the smog a grayish color. Burning large quantities of oil containing sulfur impurities, to heat homes was the cause of this type of smog in cities such as London, Chicago, and Pittsburgh, in the past. Currently, industrial smog is rare in most developed countries but is still a problem in countries that burn large amounts of coal in industries and homes. Some natural factors can influence the occurrence of smog. Rain and snow can help to remove pollutants from the air, winds can carry pollutants elsewhere and, in coastal cities, the sea breeze can remove particles and water-soluble pollutants from the air. Some factors can increase air pollution and the chances of smogs occurring. Hills and mountains reduce airflow in valleys, causing accumulation of pollutants. Buildings in big cities tend to reduce wind speed and pollutants dispersion. High temperatures can favor chemical reactions and photochemical smog. Thermal inversion is another factor that contributes to the accumulation of pollutants in cities. In this case due to the lack of movement of air masses, pollutants can be retained in the environment. This usually occurs in cooler times. Normally during the day there will be the formation of a layer of warmer air close to the Earth's surface. This air is less dense than the cooler air that is above it, causing it to rise and distribute the pollutants present. If solar radiation is not enough to heat the soil, the cold, heavier, surface air is retained by the warm air, preventing the dispersion of pollutants. Thermal inversion is favored in valleys, as mountains and clouds make it difficult to warm the soil and air close to the ground, and hard the dispersion of pollutants. Smog can be harmful to health, causing irritation in the throat, eyes, and nose. It can also affect the lungs and aggravate respiratory illnesses. 
Plants and animals can also be harmed. When smog occurs, exposure should be avoided, reducing the number of hours outdoors, especially near areas with more traffic. The use of masks is also an option. Sustainable mobility such as cycling and public transport contribute to reduce the emission of pollutants. The increase in green areas, reduction of fires and incentives for industries in the implementation of pollution control measures contribute to reducing pollution and the risk of smog occurrence. Do you have photochemical or industrial smog in your city? Is there an assessment of air quality? If you have, it is important to reduce the number of hours outdoors and use masks, if necessary. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe, so we can make more videos like this for you.